bunny rabbit. A rabbi baba. <gasps> Okay, we're here at Pilates. Let's do a little morning workout. <laughs> and then we'll go fix whatever this situation is. And then we'll stop by Dialogue because they have a new Array Bloat smoothie. But I've actually never tried the Array Bloat pills. Well, what a girly little morning. A workout and bloat pills. I Maybe I'll get a breakfast burrito too. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, let's go to class. Let's go to class. <laughs> Fixed it. Now we just parked at Dialogue. <laughs> How cute is that little Land Rover? I kind of want a big car for my next car. I mean, I'm still paying this one off, but when the time comes, I kind of want something big. I guess that would be my mom car. Me, single, no boyfriends. My mom car. <laughs> Pineapple. That must be pineapple. Pineapple, dragon fruit, like fruity sour candy vibes. Coconut cream. Protein. I love that there's protein in it. I didn't know that. Coconut cream. That must be the coconut cream on top. I'd get this again. I know it's deep loading plus protein. It's like the perfect after workout smoothie. <laughs> Let's go home, shower, freshen up. This dog's pooping. Is she gonna clean it up? She is. We love to see it. And the sun came out and it's some shiny days. <laughs> Miss Lindsay Lou. have like the most mellow night um but i'm just gonna unbox these canisters i got from my kitchen not these these are for we've been doing like it's kind of embarrassing but we've been doing weekly reality tv show nights to be specific weekly bachelor nights girls nights so i got these little popcorn containers so that i can host the next one usually we cook dinner as well but my apartment has a movie theater so i was thinking we could all cook we'll eat dinner here and then go to the movie theater with our little popcorn containers i'm switching out all of my kitchen organization things from plastic to glass Thank you. 
if they're not all, if I put them on the side and they weren't all equally in the middle, I would lose my mind. So I felt like the bottom was just the safest. The safest way not to ruin my idea of these glass jars. <laughs> going anywhere today. I don't know what I'm wearing because because it's still raining. Okay, I just freshened up and I'm going to and I'm going to my friend's housewarming party in Venice. Let me show you the flowers I got. Just something small. I never want to arrive empty-handed kind of cute and like springish. It's a boy and a girl's house, but like the girl will appreciate it. This house looks beautiful. It looks stunning. Let me show you my outfit. It's a little stod. Don't look at my apartment. It's scary. This little stod button up that I have been wearing literally on repeat. I want to get some new denim. Suddenly all of my denim is distressed and I'm like, when did that happen? These are Gucci and I'm just gonna wear probably white sneakers um, since I don't know we might take shoes off inside the house anyway so I don't think shoes really matter I am just the sleepiest girl in the world right now I don't want to go but I do want to go because you know being social and being a good friend is important and oh. okay okay See you in Venice. The housewarming was so cute. It makes me want to move to Venice. Like architecture, 10 out of 10. Insanely beautiful space. And the way they decorated it, stunning. Everything was so clean. The sushi chef, incredible. I look kind of insane right now. Before I hop in the shower and get ready for bed, I wanted to share with you some of my favorites for the month of February. I'm not even necessarily saying that these are so original, so unique, never been done before. I'm just saying that these are my favorites for February. So first category is television and I don't watch much TV. I don't have cable and I'm not like necessarily a reality TV show girly, but this season I've been watching The Bachelor with a group of my girlfriends and like I'm into it. Episode 1, I do admit I was hate watching, but by now, which it's almost the end of the season, I am thoroughly involved. My entire TikTok for you page is all Joey and Maria, like gagged. We have a group chat for the show. Every Wednesday we get together, we cook each other dinner and we watch it together. Like you guys, I'm Bachelor Nation. Like, it's like low-key embarrassing, but it's so fun. It's so fun to be involved with something. And just because a lot of people like it doesn't mean it's lame to like it. Next are books. Let me show you. This author, Emily Henry, if you like, I think just because it was February, it was like the month of love and da-da-da-da, I was kind of in a lovey-dovey mood. I had been reading a lot of sort of dark fantasy gory war and like really dramatic death and honestly stressful situations. So I started reading Emily Henry as sort of a palate cleanser and this is the third book of hers. I'm on this one currently. The other two are on the other side of my apartment and I'm just too lazy to get them. But anyway, if you like rom-com, then you'll love Emily Henry. First book I read was Beach Read, and then the second was Book Lovers, and I loved both of those stories so much. It's witty, and it's sharp, and it's a little sexy, and it's just like a fun rom-com time. I just, I can't say it any other way as opposed to it's really light reading. This book might not win the Nobel Prize for Literature, but it is nice sometimes just to turn your brain off and have something light and fun and not so serious and on the topic of books another of my february favorites was the pamela anderson autobiography love pamela and that one i read or rather i listened to the audiobook version because 
I'm not an audiobook girly, but if it's read in the author's own voice, then I do think that that adds a certain level to it, a certain level of intimacy that I wouldn't, I wouldn't have um, been exposed to from just reading it. And as opposed to the Michelle Obama autobiography or the Britney Spears autobiography, Pamela Anderson was almost more poetic. And I know I just listed three completely different, like all over the charts autobiographies, but I really liked it. Like um, you could tell that she was really, really influenced by poetry. So I thought that that was a really interesting read and um, just lovely. What else? What else? La 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 la. Apps. My favorite app this month was the It's Easy passport and visa app and I actually did a whole video on that how to film your own or how to shoot your own passport photo like it's 2024 yeah yeah it's 2024 we can't be going to the post office for our passport photos anymore like shoot it yourself look snatched so when you get flown out I'm just kidding so when you get flown out you have a fire pick to send another favorite of mine let's get into beauty products even though I look crazy right now, just trust me. I have been wearing this foundation for a week. It's the Saint Laurent All Hours Foundation. It's luminous matte, full coverage. I wore it today. Someone said, your skin looks amazing. I wore it last night. Someone said, your skin looks amazing. I wore it, I've been wearing it all week and every single time I've worn it, someone has commented on how good my skin looks. So fire, 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 fire. And also it smells luxurious. I know a lot of people are against fragrance. I understand if you have sensitive skin. Me personally, I love a luxurious fragrance. I want it to feel like a ritual when I'm putting this on my skin, especially Saint Laurent, like it's fancy. I wanna feel fancy. And it also has SPF 30. Give me all the SPF, wherever I can fit it in, put it on my face. Another beauty favorite I have been loving, I've been using this all month, Fenty Beauty We're Even Hydrating Longwear Concealer Correctors. <gasps> They're juicy. Like, I don't know how to explain it. They're wet. They're wet, they're high coverage. They're not stingy. Like, look at that. I hate when you put on concealer and you need to like, I hate when you're wearing concealer and you have to shove it back in the tube three times just to get enough for your under eye. This applicator, chef's kiss. This formula, chef's kiss. I am a fan. I am such a fan. I love it. I have these in three colors and I use all of them for different things like brightening, more skin tone match darker for contour, da da da, like, I love these. Being overdressed, I have been a fan of being overdressed. I went to this beauty event last week and the invitation said cocktail casual, casual cocktail. Who really knows what that means? People were in sweaters, people were casual. I was wearing a long white dress. I looked like someone's bride. And for a second, I have to admit, we're like, oh my god, you look so good. And I did the thing that I always tell my friends not to do, where I was like, no, I'm overdressed. Like, you have to just own it. I'm always telling my friends not to, like, discount yourself, but I did it. I was doing it all night. And in retrospect, I loved it. I loved feeling a little glamorous. I got caught in the rain later that night. Highly impractical. Fenty concealer getting, oh, getting glam. I got glam twice last month, and obviously I know it's one of those things that's either more of a privilege or more of a special occasion thing, but I got glam twice last month in February, and I was feeling myself. You couldn't tell me anything. And some of those days I had nothing to do. I got glam for a shoot, or I got glam for a collab, and then I had no plans that night besides like hang out with my girlfriends. And I fully went to my friend's house to watch The Bachelor in full fucking glam. And I was feeling it. Baking, I have been loving baking. Cinnamon coffee cake, fresh rosemary bread, this double chocolate halpia pie. And I gotta tell you, when you cook, you have a lot of wiggle room to freestyle. When you bake, it's more of an exact science. It's it's chemistry. It is science. So when I'm saying I'm I'm I've been loving baking recently, it's trial and error, and, and these haven't been perfect situations. The chocolate pie that I made didn't set long enough. We went to cut into it, and it was basically chocolate pudding. And the cinnamon coffee cake, 
the crumble streusel layer melted so it wasn't exactly how i wanted it so even though a lot of these baking endeavors haven't been going 100 percent my way i think that i'm learning to have grace with myself and not everything needs to be perfect and, and things can be learning lessons and you live and you learn and my first time baking something is not going to be perfect and that's okay still gonna serve it to my friends and i'm still gonna laugh about it and maybe i'll still post about it on instagram and i'll probably still eat it and hopefully next time i make it it will be perfect but I'm definitely the kind of person where if I didn't produce something that was 100% perfect, I would just throw it away. So I think baking is teaching me a lot of patience with myself. That's it. Those were my February favorites. And this was my rainy day vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know what you want to see because I'm still posting once a week. I've been keeping it up, which I'm proud of proud of myself for but so far only one video is really kind of like popped off which is a workout video and I'm kind of surprised that you guys want to see workout videos from me as I'm not like a trained professional but I'm happy to share like fitness and a healthy lifestyle is a big part of my life that I'm happy to share if that's really what you guys want to see but uh let me know give me a nudge in the right direction please like and subscribe to this video for more and I will see you guys next week.